everybody welcome back to my channel and as you all know today is the best day of the week because it is face beat Friday thank you all for tuning in today I'm going to be giving you a skin look I did get asked about my foundation routine so I was like okay well let me just do a video strictly on that. I don't know if I've done one uh, strictly on my foundations in in the, the past, so I'm going to do it today. But before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, like this video, comment down below and tell me that you did it, and yeah, let's get started. So before we jump into my foundation routine, I have to start with skin care because your face of course is your canvas and if you don't have good skin care and if you don't, if you have a bumpy, you know, canvas, of course your makeup is going to look crazy as well. Okay, so what I always do before I do my makeup is I wipe my face with Meissler water. I use the Garnier Skin Active Meissler water. Of course, I get oilier in the T-zone. It's my uh, my nose is crazy because sometimes it's super dry, sometimes it's super oily. I don't know what my face does from day to day nowadays. And the reason I like this Meissler water is because it's very, very gentle. I also like to use it, I end up using it two times a day. Um, I use it before I put my makeup on and I also use it as a remover for that stubborn like eye makeup, mascara, and things like that. Okay, once I have cleansed my face, I like to go ahead and do a moisturizer. I use the Bio Elements Absolute Moisture Moisturizer. You've seen it in I, my last video, I believe, and I also have a video on the entire um, my entire skincare routine that I do at night. So I'll make sure I re I link that. Even if you have oily skin, you still need a moisturizer because if you're not moisturizing your skin, it sends signals to your skin to create more oil to compensate. So. You, most people think that if you have oily skin, you know, you're trying to stay away from moisture, but that actually is counterproductive to controlling your moisture. Then, once I am clean, moisturized, clean and moisturized, I prime my face. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't always, sometimes I skip the primer step. I know, stop, stop fussing at me. I know, I know, I know. I know you have some people that swear by primers and they will never wear makeup without a primer sometimes I honestly do skip the primer step if I just don't feel like going through all of that I have not found a primer yet that I just feel is so amazing that I cannot do my makeup without it you get what I'm saying but for the sake of continuity in my what I do like let's say if I'm going out versus going to work I use Two, I switch between two primers right now and that those two primers are prep Mac prep and prime and uh, Tarte's base tape hydrating primer the Mac pep prep and prime used to be my like everything my go-to Primer my everything after pregnancy. It does not hit the same way it used to when I do use the Mac prep and prime now postpartum skin I cannot put it on my nose for some reason it makes my nose so oily that I just can't even deal versus the Tarte base tape it's fine for my entire face um, it feels nice when I put it on it's not too heavy it has a nice little, a nice little amount of sticky kind of feel just so that my foundation can attach so today I am going to use the MAC Prep and Prime, but I'm not going to use it on my nose. Brows done! Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera because they are a mess and I just wanted to. So for foundations, I have a few to choose from and so I'm just going to show y'all the foundations that I use and then I'll pick one to 
demonstrate with. So the first one is the, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I use the color 440. As you know, this is my staple foundation. This is my go-to. I don't have to think about it. I put her on. She is always laid and slayed and all of that great stuff. So this one, um, it retails for $28, I believe. Um, so it's not a super high-end foundation. It's very accessible and available at Sephora and online. Foundation is a medium to full coverage foundation. So I have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundations. These are full coverage foundations. I did a video on these a couple of weeks ago showing you my first time ever using them. I don't think I'm going to use it today because it is a full coverage and I just like to save my full coverage foundations for when I'm actually going to leave the house and go out and do something. So I'm definitely, I do like these foundations but I'm not going to use it today. Next I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. I got this from my Ipsy bag a while back. I did a video on it a while back. If I can find the video, I'll post it in it, post it um, either on the screen or down in the description box. But this foundation was not exactly my color. It was pretty off. Honestly, I was able to make it work, but I have not touched it since using it in that video. We also have the Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks. Again, I did a video on these foundation sticks a couple months ago, so I'll make sure I link that as well. This is a light to medium coverage foundation. I really, really, really do like these foundation sticks. These have been like my go-to everyday foundation stick so I'm gonna set these aside because I might use them today I ain't quite sure I just I really do like these next I have the Mac studio fix foundation in the color NW45 which honestly I feel like they give everybody NW45 I could be wrong drop in the comments if you're a dark skinned girl who gets a color other than NW45 from Mac because um, me and my mom for instance I, everyone who I have come across they use NW45 and I know some people are not this shade but anyway this used to be one of my this used to be like one of my favorite foundations before really experimenting I when I first started doing makeup I was using pretty much all MAC stuff if you go back to some, some of my earlier videos I was a MAC whore you know what I'm saying it just is what it is pretty much everything I used was MAC I have definitely expanded my my brand range and I like MAC for what it is MAC is a beautiful foundation for editorial work pictures for video for things like that for um, I used it when I was dancing for performances it was great you know performance makeup is it my everyday makeup no not anymore I honestly only pull out my Mac for very special occasions and um, Mac is a medium to full coverage I'm pretty sure I have the Laura Geller baked balanced and brightened foundation if you go to I just I have a video that I've done recently and it was the neutral versus natural look this is the foundation that I used for my natural side this is a very light coverage uh, yeah I'll say light I'll say a light coverage foundation for sure it's perfect for the summertime it has built-in color correctors so this foundation has only about four shades I believe but they correct to your perfect shade so I do like this foundation specifically for the summertime and this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation in the color mocha yes in the color mocha I honestly do not know how this foundation wears. I uh, bought it for a friend, and I just still have it. <laughs> I bought it to I bought it to use on a friend, and it look it turned out great for her. But um, I've never used it on myself, so I don't know how it goes. I'll have to like do. I'll have to try it out because I haven't. So maybe that's what we'll do. I've never tried it out, so let's try this. Maybelline fit me out. I don't
don't normally do drugstore foundations i'm not going to lie this will be the first time i have ever used a drugstore foundation on my own face and so i hope that it looks good i don't even know if this is my color so we'll see since I don't really know much about this particular foundation and how it's going to match with my skin, I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes first just so that I can make sure that I get the coverage that I want. So for that, I'm going to use um, from the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. In the, um, this is the Deep Contour Cream Kit. I'm going to use this color here, which is Coral. Coral has, of course, some warm undertones to it and that is the perfect thing for my dark under eye to counteract that so we're going to put that there first This is kind of like pre-color correcting. This is this is kind of like going ahead and color correcting. I went ahead and pulled it down to my normal like U shape. Just so that it would be nice and even. But in all honesty, I could have kind of kept it packed right here. So my dark circles end right here. And I brought it down to about right here. Y'all see that? Just to get that extra amount of brightness. I'm also going to take a little bit on the corners of my mouth. So again, this step was just to correct the darkness that can sometimes tend to shine through your face um, on, once you put foundation on. At this point, if you have oily skin, you can set your under eye with a little bit of translucent powder. Um, sometimes I do that. I'm not going to do that today because I have not been struggling with oil control as much here in the last maybe week or so okay now we're going to go ahead and try this Maybelline fit me foundation I hope that it matches me I did about a dime size amount I'm probably going to use just a little bit more because I think I do want a little bit more um, of a coverage a little bit more coverage I'm adding about a pea size amount I do wish that this had a pump of course this is a drugstore brand so I mean I can't expect it to have a pump like some other brands might and I'm really just focusing this extra amount of foundation on my um, under eye and cheeks and I'll put a little bit on my forehead so the extra amount of foundation I'm just focusing more so on my under eye and cheek area because that's where I, I need the most coverage I did put a few dots on my forehead but I don't need much and what I brought the extra I put on my forehead I'm actually just bringing it down into my nose because I don't put a whole lot of foundation on my nose okay that little bit did help um, but I definitely still need concealer. I'm going to do a lighter concealer. So I'm going to use the Becca concealer in the color Cinnamon. For my cheek, chin, and forehead, I'm going to use my Fenty 440. And that 440 has a little bit of warmth to it. So I am going to put just a little bit of that right under my eye like on the bottom lid basically just like a little bit while I let this dry down just a little bit I'm going to go ahead and contour using the contour edition palette from the crayon case and I'm going to use the color Bobby instead of using a sponge I'm going to use one of my old oval brushes because I used to really really like how these brushes hugged my eye and you don't see anybody talking about these brushes anymore and I still like them only downside about these brushes was cleaning them because I can't put them in my Lumia to clean them I actually have to hand wash these can y'all see the difference in that once I put that concealer on like yeah that was needed and since I am not 
going to be doing a whole lot of nose contouring. I've actually kind of stepped away from doing a lot of uh, contouring along my nose. I mean, I'll do like a quick little sweep, but I'm not really, I don't always be in the mood to do like a fully snatched nose, you know? So what I do is take that concealer and I push it onto the side of my nose just a little bit and that lightens this up so that when I do do a sweep, it, it looks like I got, gave you that full, fully snatched nose when I didn't go through and do all that extra work. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take that sponge and I spray it. And what I spray my sponges with, and cause I'm still in the debate of moist beauty blender or dry beauty blender. I know everyone says you use a dampened beauty blender. And sometimes I like that. Sometimes I actually like how a, a dry beauty blender does but when I am doing my concealers I just take a little bit of the ultra ultra beauty matte makeup setting spray and I spray my sponge and for this I'm really just focusing not on this part of the of the found of the concealer but more so on the edges just to kind of marry the edges into that contour not in the ends of it not necessarily really focusing on the inner part of my eye and so I'm not using a whole lot I'm just kind of tapping it as you see like over here I kind of placed it first and then I kind of go in and tap it and disperse it to the rest of the eye and where I want it to be going to go ahead and take a little bit of that bobby and just lightly dust it straight down the side of my nose not doing a whole lot and then I just kind of take it in and that's as much nose contouring as you're gonna get from me honey I just don't have energy so for the rest of my face um, I'm going to use my Fenty Pro Filter um, powder in the color nutmeg just to set the rest of my face all right I'm going to hop off and do my eyes really quickly and then I'll be back to give you the final touches to my skin all right you guys so my eyes are done for blush I'm going to be using this mac I believe the color is called breezy This is one of my favorite blushes. I have had it forever and I love it. For highlight, I'm going to use from the crayon case and Glola. Not not in Glola. Um the honor roll highlighter. And I'm gonna keep my lips nice and simple today. So we're gonna use Old Reliable chestnut and this is called this is nyx whipped fuerte and then we're going to go on top of that with the uh, viva glam mac lip gloss this was a special edition miley cyrus miley cyrus edition um lip glass and i almost forgot you have to spray you have to set your face with um this is the urban decay all nighter all right so this is the finished look you guys I hope you all enjoyed how I do my complexion products. Hope um, you learned something new, got some new tricks. Of course, these I did use some different products, so I did have to do a little bit more finessing than I normally do on my foundation routine, but that's always fun. It's always fun to kind of have to play with different things to get the look that I want. Overall, I think this look came out nicely. I would have to rate my complexion a eight out of ten it's not exactly it's not like as flawless as I like for my complexion to be I still am a little bit picky about the color matching of the Maybelline fit me I think it's just like a tiny bit off and it's not giving me 
the undertone is just a tiny bit off for me but overall I think it still came out nicely also make sure that y'all go and join my patreon thank you to those of you who have already joined remember that um, by joining my patreon you are putting your money where your mouth is in support of me and this channel so I appreciate everyone who pledges whether it's a five dollar a month pledge or a $25 a month pledge each tier gets their own special little treats but they all get early access to my videos and as y'all can see I have been putting out a little bit more content as a matter of fact a lot more content than I've done in a long time and so my patreons get early access to it as well as live broadcasts of me filming which is a little a lot a lot rawer than what y'all get here on the YouTube <laughs> okay so if you would like to join my patreon there will be a link down below click it for as little as five dollars a month you can support Beast Dope Styling and I truly would appreciate it thank y'all again for tuning in to the best day of the week and I will see y'all next week for another face beat Friday <laughs> peace